Hello there, my name is Nick. I'm the team lead. My team members are Stormy, Birkin, Anna, and Matthias. This is our production enhancement project we completed with Telco Industries. Telco Lake Country specializes in making bins to hold harvested fruit. Once completely manual, machines have been introduced to attempt to make manufacturing easier and meet increasing demands. While helpful, they have not seen great improvement and request our assistance in finding strategies to increase their productivity. Each machine has their own production rate. From the production rate, a production error is calculated. The error identifies how far each machine is away from the target goal of 46.875 bins per hour. If we fix the machines with the largest error, the ones labeled in red, we will produce the largest increase in the production rates. This creates a clear goal for the team. Reduce the error of the red and yellow labeled machines to achieve a yearly increase from 50,000 bins to 90,000 bins. So, how will we reduce the error? First, layout needs to be improved. Second, lean manufacturing can organize the bin shop. Third, preventative maintenance can repair machines on a schedule to stop breakdowns during production. Fourth, technology such as programmable logic controllers and variable frequency drives can speed up and reduce the working path of machines. Fifth, final assembly that is done manually needs a process that matches the production rate of the machines feeding the final assembly with parts. Lean manufacturing is a very simple method to improve productivity. It focuses on removing waste in different processes. Kaizen, or continuous improvement, and 5S plus 1, an organizational tool, are also important within Lean. Focus was spent on 5S plus 1, which stands for sort, set, shine, standardize, sustain, and safety. A scorecard was created to evaluate each machine center under these criteria and identify areas where actions could be taken to eliminate waste. It was then refined for daily use to ensure any waste, such as time spent wandering the warehouse looking for different tools, were eliminated. Preventative maintenance focused on extracting information from a valuable source, the operators. By observing the operators, a list of issues was created. This list showed that many of the machine centers had the same issues. The most significant of these issues was Tolco's in-house mounting system for handheld nail guns. These mountings showed rapid wear in a period of two weeks, which caused the nail guns to lose air pressure and misfire. By implementing a preventative maintenance schedule, we were able to streamline the process by having the repairs done on a regular basis before the guns started to misfire, therefore increasing production rate and reducing production error. Let's talk about technology in the bin shop. Many PLCs running on PLC-5, a platform developed in 1987. Support for this platform has long been discontinued and requires an upgrade as soon as possible. Control Logics is better than the current platform. Consider improvements to the skid nailer. Currently, its nail gun travels a significant distance without firing nails. By adding a VFD, the speed of the nail gun between firing can be doubled. With a PLC upgrade, the nail gun path can be reprogrammed, reducing distance traveled by 52.5%. This technology can be applied to machine centers with similar problems such as the bottoms table, posting table, and block nailer. An iterative process for a final assembly design was conducted throughout the project. As I got feedback from Telco and the project scope changed, so did the designs. The first design required no operator intervention, where all the parts were auto-fed from previous processes. The next design utilized two operator loading stations for one nail gun cage, moving between the two loading stations. The last idea was created to be as cost-effective as possible, using a rotating table to reduce walking and introducing Tolco's unused hydraulic lifts into the process, which will allow the operator to bring a part to their comfortable level, reducing knee and shoulder strain. A prototype of the last design shown was created that allows the operator to remain almost completely stationary while assembling the bin as the table turns. Improving the layout of the warehouse was a multi-phase problem with spatial, safety, and ergonomic constraints. To create an optimized floor layout, the infeed and outfeed of all the machine centers were compared and linked. Machine centers working on similar parts were combined, streamlining the corners, posts, and sides, bottoms, and blocks process into machine cells. After each plan was developed in SolidWorks, it was given to Tolco's operator team for verification. These iterations continued until a satisfactory cell layout was found. For a quick example, the venting was too close to the bottom staple, but due to space reduction from the other cells, we could move the venting away. Then we could directly input the skids to the bottom staple using an unused belt line in the shop, which then decreased the production error to negative 2.74%. We recommend that Tolco continues to use the 5S plus 1 scorecard and simplified version to eliminate non-productive tasks, follow the preventative maintenance schedule created which will help progression towards automation, complete programmable logic controller upgrades to reduce production error where applicable and help progressions towards automation, implement two of the design final assembly stations to reduce production error to or below zero as well as implement other machine cell improvements, and finally implement the proposed layout on the left reducing bin shop space requirements by 65.9% and reducing production error below zero for all machine cells. Confirmed by Tolco's accounting staff, the production enhancement project has decreased the cost per bin by $3.61. The decrease is due to the initial results from preventative maintenance, lean manufacturing, and the final assembly rig. The cost decrease per bin is put into perspective if we consider that Tolco reaches their goal of 90,000 bins per year. If they do, they would save $324,900 a year and the cost of the bin will only decrease further as PLC and VFD upgrades are finished and as the proposed bin shop layout is completed. 
Tolco has estimated a conservative 20 to 25 percent further reduction in cost per bin and a 20 to 25 percent increase in productivity based on the planned improvements made by the team, which are staged for summer and fall of 2020. Overall, we have provided suggestions that have and will continue to have immense benefits to Tolco's production rates. Through continued use, refinement, and implementation, Tolco should achieve its target production rate of 46.875 bins per hour, allowing them to produce 90,000 bins per year. Thank you.